revered Nigerian statesman Wait, Alu Benson Lulu Brave. Oh, look. You saw how they was dressed? Man, it is the last name for me. The last name is just hard. The Briggs. <laughs> As if like it's Bricks family. Yeah. You feel me? Like they coming off like they know they got it like that. You could look at them and see they had it like that. Hold on, let's see. Like Hold on. That. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashats React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Rich people. There are very rich people. Mm. The truth is that we have many billionaires in Nigeria, but some are miles ahead of others when it comes to how much they are worth. Some of these individuals are not just the richest people in Nigeria alone, but some of the richest people in Africa. These individuals are business moguls and have become models for the new generation of successful and young entrepreneurs. Several families are calling the shots in terms of wealth in the country, which is based on an annual assessment of wealth and assets compiled. Nigeria has the third highest number of wealthy individuals in Africa. However, Nigeria is ranked 11th based on wealth per capita, meaning the country's wealth is less distributed amongst the population. Nigeria's economy, which is arguably the largest and most vibrant in Africa, is home to super-rich families whose assets and investments are worth billions of dollars. The monetary status of these families makes them influential and powerful in almost all areas of society. Some of these families are built around patriarchs who made their wealth in the early years of Nigeria's history. Today, these families control wealth, the economy, and power in ways only money can. We will look at the richest Nigerian families in 2022 in this video. Stay tuned and learn how these families amassed wealth over the years. Some. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because I'm seeing a lot of the <clears throat> same faces from the yeah, videos yeah. you guys sent us earlier. I want to say earlier, but like earlier last month, this month, whenever. Um, so, yeah, so you guys said that this is only the richest people on paper. We hear that a lot. Yeah. Like, you guys say that we don't even, can't imagine the half of how right. really rich it gets, you know? Right. So, and this is a, this is a lot alone. Right, right, you feel right. me? So let's get into it. <laughs> From one generation to another. 25, the Indimi family. When talking about the richest families in Borno State, one cannot leave out the popular Indimi family, which is being led by Mohammed Indimi, the Nigerian oil magnate. Mohammed Ndimi was born into the El Haji Kirindu family on the 12th of August, 1947, in the northern part of Nigeria. He grew up in Majiguri of Borno State with his parents. His father, Al Haji Mamun Kirindu, was a renowned hides and skins trader who sort animal skins from villages around Majiguri. Mohammed Ndimi joined and learned his father's business at a very young age and took over. In 1990, he established Oriental Energy Resources, OER, an offshore oil exploration and production company, and this was the beginning of his venture into the oil and gas industry. He awarded over 470 scholarships in Aqua Ibom State nice. and created okay. a sponsorship program for the University of Uyo's Department of Petroleum nice. and Chemical Engineering. And that was going to be my question. My question was, because you guys have so many rich people, but the the there's a wealth gap there do you guys feel like these people help other nigerians prosper because we do know what's going on in the government and we just want to hear from you guys directly do you feel like these people help you are they creating businesses for you all right opportunities Right, helping y'all yeah. with education or anything to help the people of Nigeria. Because that was a very nice gesture. Yes, yes. 147, if I'm not mistaken, scholarships. Mm -hmm. And who knows how much those scholarships right. are. So that's big. Mm -hmm. 
and Demi donated a multi-million dollar international business center to Lynn University in the United States, which was named after him. 24. The Sonomi Family The Sonomi Family in Delta State is led by none other than the genius Nigerian geologist and businessman Iko Sanomi. Sanomi Iko was born on the 17th of May 1975 to Dickens Akhanarumu Patrick Sanomi and Mabel Iyabo Sanomi in Agra of Delta State in Nigeria. He is from a devout Catholic family and the fifth child and first son of his parents. His late father was a retired assistant inspector general of the Nigerian police force. Eko Sonomi commenced his career immediately after his graduation as the co-founder and executive director of Sarian Oil, an oil company with core operations in West Africa. He is a successful Nigerian entrepreneur par excellence. He is a multi-talented man with business interests spread across various sectors, including telecommunications, shipping, aviation, and real estate investments. A versatile young man, Eko Sinomi is also a motivational speaker and philanthropist whose business interest cuts across telecommunications, shipping, aviation, and real estate investments. 23. The Benedict Family Sometimes many people find it difficult to believe that Nigeria is blessed with so many billionaires and millionaires. One of such wealthy sons of the land is Benedict Peters, the progenitor of the Benedict family in Nigeria. Benedict Peters was born in Nigeria on December 5, 1966. Benedict Peters is a Nigerian entrepreneur and veteran businessman. Mm -hmm. He is the founder and chief executive officer of Adia Group, a leading oil and gas company in West Africa. Throughout his long career, Peters has held executive roles in top Nigerian companies like Gas Limited, Ocean, and Oil Limited. Benedict's brother, Francis, is also listed as the founder and vice chairman of Adia Group. The brothers are responsible for overseeing all operations of the company. 22. The Ibito Family the Ibito. This family currently rests on the shoulder of just one man. His name is Kletis Majubabu Ibito, born on the 6th of November, 1952 in Umunem, Obiofia Atalo and Nui of Anambra State. He is a very intelligent and hard-working businessman who succeeded without completing secondary school as he was growing up. Wow. He continued his education at age of 48, graduated, and pursued his dreams of becoming a success. Yeah, I, I, I feel like people who don't get through school and like he got through it at the age of 40, he just said that. But the ones who don't get through school and they still come out on top like I they love do, that. I they love have that. a different level of like, ugh, like it's different. You feel me? Yeah, don't get it wrong. I would never say that everybody shouldn't get an education. Correct. correct I just correct. feel that college just may not be for everyone. I would love everyone to have like a trade or something underneath their belt, but when you know how to put the things together to make something successful correct yeah yeah yeah. and i wonder yeah go for it 100 percent. and i wonder if it was more so like um he's saying that you know what i know what i want to do mm -hmm. school is not it for me i was just like school is just too hard for me let me try to figure something out and he hit it you know what i'm saying hopefully they go more to in his family history so we yeah. can know what happened yeah you know Successful trader. Nowadays, he is the head of Ibito Group, a large enterprise that comprises several lucrative businesses that have gained so much wealth for the family over the years. The Ibito Group has remained one of Nigeria's largest auto spare parts manufacturers since 1995 till date. Similarly, the Ibito petrochemical industry has been producing various petroleum related products since 1996 till now. These ventures and many more are the main sources of the immense wealth of the Ibito family. 21. The Alakaja Family This family is well known because of a great woman, Fala Rancho Alakaja. Definitely want to hear about she her. is a powerful Nigerian businesswoman and philanthropist. She was born on the 15th of July 1951 in Ikordu, Lagos State, to the family of Chief Ele Agbara also in Ikordu. She is an indigene of Lagos State. She is involved in the fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries. Okay. She is the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group, which consists of the Rose of Sharon Prints and Promotions Limited, Digital Reality Prints Limited, and the executive vice chairman of Fanfa Oil Limited. Alakaja also has a majority stake in Day Spring Property Development Company. 
Alaka Jafal Runcho is listed as the second most powerful woman in Africa and is the reason why the Alakaja family name leaves on. Ooh. 20. The Rabu Family The journey to the richness of the Rabu family began with the late Khalifa Isiaku Rabu, a brilliant industrialist who achieved huge success between the 70s and 80s in Kano State, Nigeria. His legacy got carried on by his son, Abdul Samad Isiaku Rabu, the popular Nigerian businessman who has accrued enormous wealth from profits generated by his company, BUA Group. The BUA Group is a Nigerian conglomerate concentrating on manufacturing, infrastructure, and agriculture. He uses this BUA foundation for his philanthropic activities. These include the construction of a 7,000 square meter pediatric ward at the Aminu Kanab Teaching Hospital and the construction of the Center for Islamic Studies at Bayero University Kano, amongst several others. 19. The Agwaje Family A list of the most popular families in the Nigerian banking sector would never be complete without a bold mention of the Agwaje family. Segun Agwaje born by parents Chief Julius Kosbenu Agwaje, a banker, and Margaret Alabisi Akwaje, a teacher in 1964 in Lagos State. While many people today only know of Segun Akwaje as the chief executive officer and managing director of Guarantee Trust Bank, GT Bank, just a few are aware of the fact that his father, Chief Julius Kospinu Akwaje, was also a banker during his lifetime. They are indeed a family of successful bankers and finance experts. Ooh, However, it is worth mentioning that Jimmy Agbaje Segon's brother is a popular pharmacist and politician oh, and is one. also a renowned member of the family. 18. The Ilumulu family. The name Ilu So what I'm seeing so far is yes, we have seen how Nigerians band together with their community to be successful um, when they migrate to other countries. But here, the focus on family, when one person is successful, sometimes, when one person is successful, they pass it on for everybody else to be successful. Now, there were one or two families in here where they said it's only one person in the family who's successful. Yeah. So the family is su successful. But, like, when you find ways to pass it on and to get other family members involved in the family business, everybody that's eating. how the legacy continues. Yeah, everybody Like, that's eating. what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we want to be successful, the most uplifting, inspiring, da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. We, 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 we can't tell y'all <laughs> everything that we have planning. But um, we want to pass that on to our children. Yeah. And then they pass it on to their children in some capacity, and it just keeps going for centuries. Facts, facts, facts. Okay? Historic. When, when they say the United States, they're going to mention the Demachet family. Mm. Speaking into existence. Ooh. In year 3100, y'all going to look back on this video. Just, you know, y'all in 3100, so y'all might not understand my little sass and things like that. Girl. But thank us. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ilumulu has become very popular in Nigeria today because of one man, Tony Ilumulu, and who is an extremely brilliant economist. Tony Ilumulu was born on the 22nd of March, 1963, into the family of Dominic and Susan Ilumulu. Though he originally hails from Anisha Akwu in Anyacha North local government area of Delta State, Ilumulu grew up in the Joss of Plateau State in Nigeria. He is a Nigerian entrepreneur and investor who owns a controlling interest in Transcorp, a publicly traded Nigerian conglomerate with interests in hospitality, agriculture, oil production, and power generation. He came into the limelight in 1997, when he led a small group of investors to take over a small, floundering commercial bank in Lagos. He turned it profitable within a few years, and in 2005, he merged it with the United Bank of Africa. That banking group now has subsidiaries in 20 African countries, the United States, and the United Kingdom. Ilumulu also owns extensive real estate across Nigeria and a minority stake in mobile telecom firm MTN Nigeria, among other assets. 17. The Ovia Family If you own a Zenith Bank account in Nigeria or know someone that uses the bank then, you are somewhat already linked to the Ovia family, which is currently led by Jim Ovia. Jim Ovia was born on the 4th of November, 1957, to a large family in Agber, Delta State. He is the second son of Obi Ali of Agber Obi, 
one of the most revered chief of the Agbar kingdom in Delta State. Wow. Okay. Jim Ovia is the founder of Zenith Bank, one of the largest commercial banks in Nigeria. He had transformed Zenith Bank, which was just a small commercial bank, into a financial service conglomerate and has built an iconic corporate identity for the bank leveraging technology and reliable customer services. He is the chairman and largest individual shareholder, with a stake of slightly more than 9%. He also owns prime real estate across Nigeria and mobile telecom operator Visaphone, which has 3 million subscribers. 16. The Adelike Family the Adelike surname is not foreign to many Nigerians. It is a name that is known across many industries in Nigeria. You have probably heard about it in politics, education, business, religious, but most popularly in entertainment. Yeah. Adedeji Adelike, born on the 6th of March 1957, is a Nigerian business magnate and president of Adelike University. Mm. He is also the chief executive officer of Pacific Holdings Limited. Adedeji Adelike is also President one of the former heads of state generals who invested in oil and gas, where he founded his company Pacific Energy. Other members of this family include the popular Nigerian musician David Adelike, also known as Davido, Aduil Adelike, Sharon, and Ashley Coco, who are already married and bear their husbands' last names. Mm. Hello, you know what this reminds me of? Chief Daddy. Chief Daddy. <laughs> With the rapper's son. Yeah, yeah, Chief Daddy. I'm the heir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is what they remind me of. 15. The Danjima Family. The story of this family began with General Theophilus Yakibu Danjima, born to his father Kiru Danjima, who was a peasant farmer and traded in metal parts for farming implements and tools. Theophilus Yakubu Danjima is also a retired Nigerian army lieutenant general who played a key role in post-independence military and political events in Nigeria. He has become a distinguished and highly successful businessman with over 35 years of experience and hard work. General Theophilus Yakubu is also a philanthropist. He has a solid track record of philanthropic giving, which culminated in the establishment of the Danjima Foundation. 14. The Arthur Family The popular Nigerian businessman, Prince Arthur Eze, is currently the father figure of the Arthur family. He is one of the most respected players when it comes to the business of oil production and exploration in Nigeria. Arthur Eze is the chief executive officer of Atlas Oranto Petroleum. He is also a philanthropist and a politician. His traditional title bestowed upon him is Ozleg Bandu of D. Abo. He was born on the 27th of November 1948 in Ukbo of Anambra State into a family of Chief and Lolo Eze. I feel like Arthur is one of the guys that we had, uh, talked about in the last video. He looks familiar. He looks he familiar. familiar. He looks like <clears throat> the man in South Africa. Because he reminds me of one of those politicians. Mm -hmm. or, or, maybe, yeah. or maybe he isn't, but I think he is though. I think we did uh, well, come Nigerian. across him. I believe we have, but we he looks so him. familiar to that video that we watched about South Africa. Yeah. He is not only the owner of the largest privately held oil exploration and production companies in Nigeria, but he is also a prince born into a traditional royal family. Oh, wow. Nice. 13. The Abiola Family There is no way the history of politics can be written in Nigeria without an honorable mention of the late Chief Masha Kashmabo Olawale Abiola, who is popularly known as NKO Abiola. He was said to be one of the richest men in Nigeria and Africa at the time of his death in 1998. Mm. The Abiola family has remained wealthy to date because of Chief NKO Abiola's business See, investments in like sectors that. like Keep transport, banking, publishing, education, finance, and oil. Like 12. The Adenuga family. Just as you might have already guessed, the figure of the Adenuba family in Nigeria today is no one else but Chief Michael Adeni Agolate Ishola Adenuga, known simply as Mike Adenuga, was born April 29, 1953 to Aloy Mitchell Agbalate Adenuga in Ibadan of Oyo State, Nigeria. His mother, Juliana Oyendamola Adenuga, is from a royal family in Ijebu Ebo of Agun State. He is the chief executive officer of Globacom Limited and one of the richest men in Africa. His mobile phone network, Globacom, is the third largest operator in Nigeria, with 55 million subscribers. His oil exploration outfit, 
Kenoil Producing, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. Whoa. He is the founder of the Mike Adenuba Foundation, an African philanthropic foundation whose main mission is to help Nigeria and other African countries, where the Mike Adenuba group of companies are commercially active permanently to achieve social and economic independence. 11. The Otadola Family Knowing fully well that renowned Nigerian billionaire Femi Otadola is the current leading figure of the Otadola family, you should already have an idea of just how rich the Odola family is. Femi Otadola, born on the 4th of November 1962 at Ibandan of Oyo State in Nigeria, is a businessman, philanthropist, and former chairman of Forte Oil PLC and importer of fuel products. Ote Dola is the founder of Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited and the owner of several other businesses across shipping, real estate, and finance. He has recently invested in power generation as part of the liberalization of the sector in Nigeria. Other members of this family include Florence Ifalua Ote Dola, popularly known as DJ Cuppy, Femi Ote Dola, Nana Ote Dola, and Fiwa Ote Dola. The 15 families we've covered so far were listed in no order. However, the next 10 families are listed in order of wealth. Okay. 10. The Bindian family. Gabriel Asawari Bindian was born on the 11th of September 1934 to a humble family at Akata village in Edo State. Anyone familiar with Akata town in Edo State would already know the one and only chief Gabriel Bindian, who is the Asama of Benin Kingdom a title conferred on him by Oba Ekzua II. He is the progenitor of the Bindian family and has established quite a wonderful reputation over the years through his various successful business ventures. One of his sons, Lucky Bindian, was the executive governor of Edo State from 1999 to 2003 while his daughter, almost, is currently serving as a federal lawmaker. Chief Bindian has a vast business empire which includes a private bank, oil refinery, diamond, gold, and marble mines, a private university known as the Bindian University, a private TV station, a radio station, oh, wow. and a large number of hotels and real estates spread across the globe. 9. The Falawio Family Yeah, I, I can't imagine what everybody else is getting into because that was different than compared to everybody else. Child, he... He's on the radio. Mm -hmm. He's at the hotels. Mm -hmm. He's everywhere. Man, that's a, uh, everywhere. That's a good he, penny, man. For real. Think about just one of those companies. Yeah. Marketing, um, vacations. You know you make a killing in voca uh, vacations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So imagine everything that he got together. I, don't, I can't even think of the number. <laughs> The long history of the wealthy Falawio family started with Chief Abdul Wahab Ianda Falawio, the intelligent businessman who laid the foundation of the wealth that the family enjoys today. Falawio family has Chief Wahab Falawio as a predecessor. He was the founder and pioneer of Yinka Falawio and Sons, which is a business that deals with import and export. Mm. Now known as yeah. Yinka Falawio Group, it has diversified investments in agriculture, real estate, shipping, and energy. The company is now run by Tund Falawio, son of late Chief Wahab. The Falawio family once had the cement distribution business in Nigeria in their pocket, contributing to their wealth. Hate the Siraki family. Bukola Siraki was born and raised in the city of London, born on the 19th of December 1962. While many people know the Siraki family members as successful politicians, only a few people realize that they are also wealthy business experts. Late Alusola Siraki was not just a politician, but also a renowned banker. Similarly, a popular media outlet recently confirmed that the Siraki family has investments in real estate business outside Nigeria. Bukola Siraki has been in politics for over 20 years now. Mm. Some of the prominent members of the Siraki family include Alusola Siraki, Bukola Siraki, and Bimisola Siraki. Alusola Siraki was a senator of the Second Republic. He was also the chairman of the defunct Society General Bank. He died in 2012. His son, Bukola Siraki, is the current Senate President of the Federal Republic. Before becoming senator, he was the governor of Kwara State between 2003 and 2011. Bukola's sister, Jibamisola, is also a senator. 
The Siraki family is one of the richest political families in the country. Wow. The family has investments in real estate, both inside and outside Nigeria. The family's main source of income comes from various businesses and politics. 7. The Tinubu Family So for what are the top three investments that you see they're all involved in? I'm going to give you one. Real estate. Yeah, real estate. I'm going to give you two. Good. Are you? Yeah, oil is number one. Oil is number one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was my first time really seeing um, someone invest in imports and agriculture. I know that was different. Yeah, yeah. that was real different because I know here just being in Texas more so Louisiana. Yeah, but in Texas I feel like we see it more with all of the different forms that we have. Um, we that that's a that's a billion dollar company. Okay. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> The foreigner of the Tinubu family is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He was the former governor of Lagos State. He is one of the richest politicians in the country. Another prominent member of the Tinubu family is his wife, Alaremi Tinubu. She is currently a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Just like the Siraki family in Kwara State, the Tinubu family possesses a priceless reputation in Lagos State due to their heavy investments in various businesses across the state. Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the current leader of the family, was the executive governor of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. Reliable sources claim that his mother was one of the wealthiest businesswomen in Lagos during her lifetime. And before we forget, the wife of Chief Bola Tinubu is currently serving as a Nigerian senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District. Okay. With huge success in various businesses and politics, the Tinubu family remains one of the wealthiest in Nigeria to date. Wow. Six, wow. the Teju Osho family. Hmm. That was my first time on this list. Correct me if I'm wrong. First time seeing a husband and wife both prominent, you know, in both of their positions and contributing to the wealth of their family. It wasn't just the man. I love that. I, think I love this seeing is the that. first time. I think this is the first time. I love yeah. seeing that because, of course, we did see the woman, um, you know, in her philanthropy and fashion and print yep, and real yep. estate, all that she was about. But this is the first time seeing both husband and wife contributing. I absolutely love that. The Tenju Osho family has been popularly known to produce prominent Nigerians that venture into different businesses, including foam manufacturing, Ooh. politicians, and also lawyers. A prominent nice. member is Bisoy Teju Osho, who established Teju Industries, which specialized in the making of foams. Oh. Other prominent members include Adefamileo Teju Osho, who is a trained lawyer, politician, and also a four times Lagos State House of Assembly representing Mushin constituency. Another is Lanner Teju Osho, who is the son of His Royal Highness Oba Edidapo Eduil Teju Osho, the Isle of Oak Ona of Egbaland. Lanner is a medical doctor and also a senator. 5. The Fajriar Okun family. The doctor's coming in. Henry Fajriar Okun, born on July 26, 1926, in Ondo State, is the foreigner of this family. This is one of the silent but extremely rich families in Nigeria, with several investments in various businesses and assets spread all over Nigeria. Chief Henry Oloyi Day was one of Nigeria's most popular businessmen and industrialists during his lifetime. He founded the Henry Stevens Group of Companies, which deals in several businesses like oil prospecting, shipping, insurance, banking, engineering, shiproking, and many more. Oh, the Fage Mirokun family is one family that doesn't currently feature prominently on the rich list, but their investments still exist in various sectors of the economy. The precursor of this family, Henry Oloyide Fejriarokan was a trade unionist that later became one of the major Nigerian industrialists and businessmen. Fejriarokan was the one that led the negotiations to establish a merchant bank bringing in First Bank of Boston and later Bank of Boston. He also founded Henry Stephen, a pioneer company in the Nigerian oil industry. It was the first indigenous private oil company to get an offshore exploration license in the country's first ever offshore licensing round of oil prospecting licenses in 1970. Okay. Ooh, they got for everybody. the Dantata family. Oh, yeah. Dantata. Here is the family that houses the richest man in Nigeria, Aleko Dangodi. However, within the family are the presence of other richer men like Sanusi Dantata. 
He is a Nigerian entrepreneur whose father was a northern Nigerian trader in ground nuts and cola nuts and a distributor of European goods. He was one of the wealthiest men in West Africa. The Dantata family is without a doubt the wealthiest family in northern Nigeria. The family is currently led by Aleko Dangote, chairman of the Dangote Group. He is the richest man in Africa. The family was set up by his late uncle Alhaji Alhassan Dantata who dealt in cola nuts, ground nuts, and other commodities. Different. It was Dantata who set up his nephew Aleko Dangote in the rice dealing business. Aleko Dangote proved himself very capable and ambitious, expanding his business interests and turning his dealership into a conglomerate. The Dantata family has also ventured into real estate. They have their estate in the federal capital territory. The other members of the family include Amadu Dantata, son, a politician. Alhaji Abdul Kadir Dantata, grandson. Alhaji Mudi Dantata, son, a successful businessman. Aleko Dangote, great grandson and billionaire. Aminu Dantata, son, a businessman. Mamuda Dantata, son, founder of the West African Pilgrims Association and currency trader. Sanusi Dantata, son, a successful businessman. Three. Ain't nobody in the family should be doing nothing. <laughs> Everybody busy. Like, we're going right, to put you right. all on. Let me show you all how to make this money. Right. Like, Right. And, what and what I'm hearing is like the people who come from line of businessmen. Yeah. They started off doing trades. Yeah. Being traders. I like, remember um, one of the videos where they were selling palm wine and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, although it was so long ago, they did what they had to do with what they had during those times and it just advanced the yeah. more and more their generation their legacy grew that look i'm hmm. ready me being a parent and wanting to leave something for my children i am ready they got me hyped up that's what it's about <laughs> that's what it's about the akoya thomas family one progenitor of the Akoya Thomas family is Prince Malade Akoya Thomas, who was the chairman of CFAO Nigeria Limited in 2015. Seems it is genetically oriented because yeah, hold on, them wait. dealerships begin. You pay now. Nah. Yeah, big time. Um, Thomas, that don't seem like a regular Nigerian last name. Ooh, look at you. Hmm. You caught that second he said his name. Yeah. Ain't nothing, that, going, ain't nothing crazy going on back there. That's as simple as a Thomas. Yeah, so hopefully they, you know, answer my interests, mm. my curiosity. And in Nigeria, do you get last names at, at a norm like this? Yeah, like Jones. Like Johns. Or, Thomas. You know what Johnson. I'm saying? Yeah. Like those. Okay. Just curious. Even his father was the first local staff of CFAO and served the company for a complete 52 years. Most important of all is the family company, the Eleganza Group, which is a conglomerate with interests in the manufacture of plastic products, construction, as well as vehicle importation and sales. The company is now led by his son, Thomas Akoya Eleganza. Other prominent members of the family include Princess Alajumo Kabaymi Akoya Thomas, who is a member of the Federal House of Representatives of Nigeria, where she is representing Lagos Island. Two, the E. Brew family. Michael Christopher Onajire of E. Brew was born on December 25th, 1930 in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria to Pa Peter E. Brew and Madam Janet Amatagar E. Brew. He was an educator, philanthropist, businessman, and head of the E. Brew organization, one of the largest business conglomerates in Nigeria. He was a major stakeholder and influential figure in the Nigerian economy in the 60s and early 90s. The force behind the popular yeah, Ebrew organization is Ebrew Family. Since 1956, when it was established, the organization has maintained to be one of the largest conglomerates with over 10,000 employees. Wow. The organization has diversified business interests, which include shipping, agriculture, aviation, banking, as well as oil and gas. The founder of the E-Brew organization is Michael E-Brew. 
Before establishing the organization, he worked at the United Africa Company from 1951 to 1956 before partnering with an Englishman Jimmy Large to form the Labour General Trading Company. In 1957, Ebru began distributing frozen fish in Nigeria. He was a pioneer in this business. He would later form the Ebru Seafoods, a company through which he imported frozen fish and sold them using the back of a truck. The business grew, and he was able to partner with a prominent Japanese firm. Over time, Ebru expanded his business to vehicle transportation, distribution and fruit growing, brewing, construction, and petroleum distribution. Some other prominent members of the Ebru family include Michael's eldest son, Al Aragon Oscar Ebru, Alex Ebru, Felix Ebru, Abodin Ebru, and Cecilia Ebru. Alex Ebru is the chairman of Rudem Motors, and he was an ex minister of internal affairs between 1993 and 1995. Felix Ebru was a former governor of Delta State. Before becoming governor, he was the founder of an architectural firm. Cecilia was the former managing director and chief executive officer of Oceanic Bank. 1. The Briggs Family Revered Nigerian statesman wait, wait. Alu Benson Lulu Briggs Oh, look, you saw how they was dressed? Man, it, it's the last name for me. The last name is just hard. The Briggs. <laughs> As if like it's Briggs family. Yeah. You feel me? Like they coming off like they know they got it like that. You could look at them and see they had it like that. Hold on, let's see. Like Hold on. Cecilia Hold on, was the it, former managing it. director and chief executive officer of Oceanic Bank. One. The Briggs. Look, 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 at, look at them! Look at him. Okay. Okay. I don't know if he's sitting in a chair or a wheelchair, but look at look look at it. Yeah, yeah. They woke up like Show stoppers. Come on, man. Family. Revered Nigerian statesman Alu Benson Lulu Briggs, <laughs> simply known as Obi Lulu Briggs, is the founder and chairman of Moni Pillow Limited, an oil exploration oil. and production company. He was born on the twenty second of May nineteen thirty. Chief O.B. Lulu Briggs is one of the richest men in the country. He is the predecessor of the Briggs family and the founder of Moni Pillow Limited, MPL, a private indigenous oil and gas exploration and production company. MPL is located in Port Harcourt, but has offices in Lagos and London. The company is known for its operational efficiency of international standards. The wife of Chief Lulu Briggs, Mrs. Sainai Lulu Briggs is the Chief Executive Officer of Rachel Hotels Limited. She is a seasoned administrator and an accomplished businesswoman. She worked in the civil service for a year before proceeding to a design research center where she was the office manager. After leaving this firm, she began her sojourn into the financial sector and subsequently business. Chief Dumo Lulu Briggs is another affluent member of the Briggs family. He was the pioneer executive director and chief operating officer of Moni Pillow Limited from 1995 to 2002. He is a trained lawyer and a member of the Nigeria Bar Association. Nigeria has always been a thriving place for business-oriented people. The number of billionaires in Nigeria is a strong indicator of why the country has one of the strongest economies in Africa. There you have it. A comprehensive list of all the richest families in Nigeria with other bits of interesting information about Yo. Alright, so what you gotta say now? The Briggs family like they're killing it out here. Yeah, they got yeah. somebody that's mm -hmm, yeah. you know. So y'all know how I feel about husband and wives. Come on now. Strong power couples. I love that the number one well, we know on paper. Mm -hmm. The number one family was a couple and I love that the wife worked her way up to be she where she thing. was yeah, she like did thing too. that is so powerful when a man and a woman could be hard workers for themselves and then they come together and like they're forced what when neo song is I'm a movement by myself but I'm a force when we together that's that's the lyrics is that's, that's, the, lyrics. that's okay. the lyrics okay that's the lyrics they're forced you know the song yeah. You want to sing it some more? You make me better. Yeah, that's the, better. that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. I had to push it out to you. They made them better. Yeah, for I real. I love it. I love it. It's <laughs> a good track, too, by the way. It's a good one to mention. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's all I have to say. Yeah, it was a five-year, bro. I, 
It's motivational. It is. Nigerians are motivational. Facts, they are. Facts. Um, yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description box below. Y'all have been sending a lot of rich family, rich do this, rich. We want to know about the culture, the people, the food. Well, we, we did the food, but yeah, send some more of the other stuff too. All right. So we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.